these ruins come a curve period. This must have belonged to a U.S. Marine. Were they on the island in force or just an advance party? After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable, calculating even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with.
just want the pack. That's all. to get this back to Roth. lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. I'm sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, I type on my fast ladder then. Just be careful, Laura. go on the rock wall over there first.
time this. Training. All those tracks, all those climbs. It's as if you've been preparing me for something like this all along. It's clear that there are people living here, and they're organized. They're killing and recruiting. But why? It's like some kind of cult. But a cult of what? What do they want? What are they looking for? Servants of the Sun Queen. Sacrifice. Murder. There's no record of these kinds of rituals in ancient Yamatai. Unless it was erased from the texts.
Nothing! What? Nothing! There's no one up here! They never make it up this far! Should we head back up to the bunker? Nah, let's wait out the storm. Help me out here! Uh. Shooting from the side! I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined. Probably used for preparing medicinal herbs.
send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. Telling you, Reyes, it's a mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey, is this little fox, huh? Yeah, he's cute, huh? <laughs> hey, yeah, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey Grim, time to button down the hatches. I right, be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, fam. <laughs> All right. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Good Lord, cut! 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 Uh, is, is he coming back? Dr. James? <sighs> I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. A discover The world renowned archaeologist, fish. Mr. I Dr. Don't James Whitman. Of fish. It's just a fish. It's I fine. It's just You're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. 
You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. 